Marcus Aurelius told himself. Remind yourself what you've been through and what you've had the strength to endure. Too often we forget the mountains we have climbed and the rivers we have crossed, and while we overlook our battles, both big and small, we also overlook the strength we gathered to overcome them. Aurelius reminds you to think of the moments when you felt overwhelmed, when the weight of the world seemed unbearable. Yet here you are, standing and enduring. So as you face down new challenges, let these memories not weigh you down but lift you up. For in remembering what we have endured, we find the power to face what lies ahead. Seneca famously stated, Fire tests gold, suffering tests brave men. It is in the moments of our greatest challenges that our true character is tested and shaped. Think of hardship as a sculptor's chisel. Each strike, while it may seem harsh, is artfully removing what is superfluous, revealing the masterpiece within. By adopting this perspective, we can transform our darkest moments into opportunities for personal enlightenment and strength. Therefore, remember this stoic rule. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Lesson 1. The Stoic Foundation of Resilience Mental resilience refers to the capacity to cope with stress and adversity, bouncing back from challenges with increased strength and wisdom. The science behind mental resilience reveals that it is not a static trait, but a dynamic state that can be developed and strengthened over time through various practices and mindsets. Psychological research identifies several key components that contribute to resilience, including emotional intelligence, self-regulation, and optimism. Emotional intelligence allows individuals to recognize and manage their own emotions, as well as understand the emotions of others, facilitating better personal and social coping strategies. Self-regulation helps maintain control over one's thoughts and behaviors when faced with stress, preventing impulsive reactions that might exacerbate negative situations. Optimism, another cornerstone of resilience, involves maintaining a positive outlook that can buffer against the psychological impact of negative events. Cultivating these qualities can enhance an individual's ability to navigate through life's challenges effectively. Neuroscientific studies have shown that resilience is linked to certain neural mechanisms and brain structures. The prefrontal cortex responsible for executive functions such as planning, decision-making, and impulse control plays a critical role in resilience by regulating emotional responses and facilitating adaptive coping strategies. The amygdala, involved in processing emotional reactions, also interacts with the prefrontal cortex to modulate our responses to stress or fear. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections, is essential for developing resilience. Regular engagement in resilience-building practices like mindfulness meditation, Cognitive behavioral techniques and physical exercise can strengthen these brain regions and enhance their functionality. Furthermore, resilience can be supported by a healthy lifestyle that includes adequate sleep, nutrition, and physical activity, all of which contribute to optimal brain health. Social and environmental factors also play a significant role in shaping an individual's resilience. Communities and workplaces that foster resilience through social connections, recognition, and opportunities for personal growth, create environments where individuals can thrive even in adversity. Education and training in resilience can equip people with the tools and knowledge necessary to improve their coping strategies and overall mental health. Additionally, exposure to manageable levels of stress, known as stress inoculation, can help individuals build resilience by learning to navigate challenges effectively. By understanding the multifaceted nature of resilience and actively engaging in resilience-building practices, individuals can enhance their ability to adapt to change, overcome adversity, and lead fulfilling lives. What exactly allows some people to stay calm under pressure while others falter? This foundational question introduces us to the Stoic principle that perception shapes our reality. The Stoics, an influential group of ancient philosophers, advocated that resilience begins in the mind. Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic, asserted, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This statement encapsulates the essence of Stoicism. Our responses to external events are within our control, even if the events themselves are not. Why is this perspective transformative for modern life? 
Today's fast-paced world bombards us with situations that we often perceive as stressful or overwhelming. By adopting a stoic mindset, we can shift our focus from feeling helpless about uncontrollable events to taking action where we have power. This mental shift is not about denying the challenges we face, but about reframing them to our advantage. For instance, viewing a work crisis as an opportunity to demonstrate leadership can transform our experience of the event. How do our perceptions influence our actions and feelings? Stoics believe that by controlling our perceptions, we can maintain our tranquility. Changing how we perceive challenges allows us to approach them with a calm and balanced mind. This practice doesn't require us to ignore our problems, but encourages us to approach them from a position of strength and composure. It's a powerful strategy that aligns with contemporary cognitive behavioral approaches, which show that altering our thought patterns can change our emotional and behavioral responses. Can you identify when shifting your perspective has impacted your life? Reflecting on past experiences where a change in viewpoint altered your approach and results can reinforce the value of this stoic practice. Such reflection not only enhances our understanding of the principle, but also integrates it more deeply into our practical life skills, fortifying our mental resilience. What are some practical steps we can implement to develop stoic resilience? A tangible exercise to strengthen this ability is to engage in daily reflective journaling. Write about daily challenges and actively reframe them in a way that focuses on what you can control. This method not only helps in reducing stress, but also in cultivating a proactive attitude towards life's challenges. Why is reflective journaling so effective? This practice helps in consistently applying stoic wisdom by transforming abstract concepts into concrete daily actions. It builds the habit of assessing and adjusting our perceptions, which gradually leads to improved mental resilience. Over time, this not only reduces anxiety, but also enhances our capacity to deal with adversity. Imagine turning each obstacle into a path forward. This idea mirrors another of Marcus Aurelius's teachings. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. By perceiving obstacles as opportunities, we align ourselves with a core stoic strategy that transforms our experiences from being potential stressors to being growth-inducing experiences. How might we start to apply these insights immediately? Identify a recurring challenge in your life and apply the stoic reframing technique. Each time this challenge arises, pause and remind yourself of your new perspective. Persistently practicing this will gradually shift how you perceive and react to obstacles, enabling a more resilient and empowered approach to life. Lesson two, mastering control and acceptance in stoicism. Have you ever faced a situation where despite your best efforts, the outcome was completely out of your hands? This is where our exploration of stoic resilience continues, diving into the pivotal concepts of control and acceptance. The stoics emphasize that understanding the boundary between what we can control and what we must accept is crucial for mental resilience. This distinction not only reduces frustration, but also enhances our capacity to respond effectively to life's challenges. Why is recognizing our sphere of control so transformative? Acknowledging what is within our control helps us direct our efforts and energies more efficiently. Marcus Aurelius wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. By focusing on our internal responses rather than external circumstances, we cultivate a sense of empowerment. This empowers us to invest our time and resources into actions and thoughts that genuinely contribute to our well-being and personal growth. How can we apply this understanding daily? Start by observing moments when you feel stress or anxiety escalating. Ask yourself whether these feelings stem from trying to control the uncontrollable. This practice not only reduces immediate stress, but also builds a habit of focusing your energy more productively on things within your control like your attitude and your actions. What practical steps can we take to strengthen this aspect of stoic resilience? Engaging in a daily practice of listing what you can control and what you must accept can be incredibly enlightening. For instance, you can control your effort and attitude, but you may need to accept the outcomes of those efforts. Regular reflection on these lists can help internalize the stoic dichotomy of control 
which is essential for developing mental resilience. Why is acceptance equally important as control in Stoicism? Acceptance does not mean passive resignation, but an active recognition of the realities of a situation. It allows us to expend our energy wisely, focusing on constructive actions rather than futile resistance. Stoic acceptance teaches us to embrace life's realities, not as limitations, but as the natural parameters within which we operate. Can you think of an instance where acceptance changed your perspective? Reflect on a time when accepting a difficult reality brought you peace. This reflection supports the Stoic belief that our well-being depends not on altering the external world, but on adjusting our internal responses. Each instance of acceptance reinforces our resilience, making us less vulnerable to external fluctuations. How does practicing acceptance affect our long-term resilience? Consistent practice of Stoic acceptance has profound implications for our stress levels and overall happiness. It shifts our focus from what we cannot influence to what we can actively change. Over time, this not only reduces feelings of helplessness, but also enhances our ability to remain calm and effective under pressure. How might we begin to integrate these practices into our routines? Identify one aspect of your life you struggle to accept and focus on changing your perspective towards it. Practice recognizing what elements of the situation you can influence and accept the rest. This daily exercise will not only fortify your mental resilience, but also align your actions more closely with Stoic wisdom. This lesson builds a strong foundation in understanding how embracing both control and acceptance can significantly enhance our ability to navigate life's unpredictabilities with composure and strength. By internalizing and practicing these Stoic principles, we equip ourselves to face any circumstance with a resilient and balanced mindset. Lesson 3. The Stoic Power of Rational Thought How often do you find yourself reacting emotionally rather than responding rationally? This lesson delves into the Stoic principle of leveraging rational thought to enhance mental resilience. The Stoics posited that the use of reason is our greatest tool in facing life's adversities. By focusing on rational analysis and thoughtful reflection, we can navigate even the most turbulent waters with a calm and steady mind. Why is rational thinking so central to Stoicism? Rational thought allows us to differentiate between what is within our control and what is not, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius emphasized that the key to personal freedom lies in our ability to apply reason to our experiences. This application of logic helps us assess situations objectively, stripping away the biases and emotions that often cloud our judgments. What practical steps can we take to cultivate rational thinking? Begin by challenging your initial reactions to stressful situations. Ask yourself whether your response is based on facts or fueled by emotions. This self-inquiry not only promotes a more rational approach to problems, but also helps in developing a mindset that seeks clarity and understanding over impulsivity. How can rational thinking reduce stress and enhance resilience? When we approach challenges with a rational mindset, we are less likely to be overwhelmed by the emotions they might evoke. This doesn't mean ignoring our feelings, but rather understanding them through a rational lens. Over time, this practice strengthens our mental resilience, enabling us to remain composed and effective under stress. Why do Stoics value rationality over emotional reactions? Stoicism teaches that while emotions are natural, they should not govern our actions. By prioritizing rationality, we ensure that our decisions and actions are aligned with our true intentions and values, rather than transient emotional states. This alignment is crucial for maintaining personal integrity and direction in life. Can you think of a scenario where rational thought changed the outcome? Reflect on a past experience where thinking logically led to a better decision or outcome than an emotional reaction would have. Such reflections reinforce the benefits of stoic rational thinking, showing how it can lead to more effective and satisfying results in both personal and professional contexts. How does embracing rationality affect our long-term mental health? Regular practice of rational thinking not only builds resilience but also contributes to overall mental health by reducing anxiety and confusion. It helps us build a stable and reliable framework for interpreting the world which is less likely to be shaken by life's ups and downs. 
How might we start to integrate rational thinking into our daily lives? Identify one decision each day to approach with thorough rational analysis. Take the time to weigh the pros and cons, consider the long-term consequences, and align the decision with your core values. This daily practice will help embed rational thinking into your routine, enhancing both your decision-making skills and your stoic resilience. This lesson on rational thought provides a robust framework for understanding how stoicism harnesses logic to strengthen mental resilience. By adopting these practices, we can enhance our ability to face life's challenges with a clear, composed, and rational mind. Lesson 4. Embracing Emotional Intelligence in Stoicism How can we ensure that our emotions do not overpower our rational decisions? This lesson explores how Stoics integrate emotional intelligence with rational thought to enhance mental resilience. Stoicism does not advocate for the suppression of emotions, but rather for their understanding and management through a rational framework. By cultivating emotional intelligence, we align our emotional responses with our rational objectives, ensuring a balanced approach to life's challenges. Why is emotional intelligence important in Stoicism? Emotional intelligence allows us to recognize, understand, and manage our emotions effectively. For Stoics, the goal is not to eliminate emotions, but to prevent them from leading us astray from rational, virtuous actions. This ability to navigate our emotions thoughtfully is crucial for maintaining personal integrity and acting in accordance with our values. What steps can we take to enhance our emotional intelligence? Begin by observing your emotional reactions in various situations. Identify the triggers and assess how these emotions influence your decisions. This awareness is the first step toward managing your responses more effectively. Practicing mindfulness can also aid in this process, helping you remain present and engaged without being overwhelmed by emotions. How does Stoicism propose we balance rationality and emotion? Stoicism teaches that rationality should guide our actions, but it also recognizes the value of emotions as signals. By interpreting these signals through the lens of reason, we can respond to emotional situations with wisdom rather than impulsivity. This balance is key to developing the stoic virtue of temperance, which involves moderation in all aspects of life. Can you recall a time when managing your emotions rationally altered the outcome of a situation? Reflecting on such instances can illustrate the power of emotional intelligence in practice. These reflections reinforce the Stoic belief that while we cannot control what happens to us, we can control our responses, thereby transforming potential setbacks into opportunities for growth and learning. Why do Stoics focus so much on the management of emotions? Emotions, when left unchecked, can lead to irrational decisions and harmful actions. Stoics believe that by understanding and managing our emotions, we can avoid such pitfalls and live a more fulfilled and peaceful life. This approach not only builds resilience but also helps us maintain a consistent character in both easy and challenging times. How does improving emotional intelligence contribute to mental resilience? By mastering our emotional responses, we enhance our ability to face adversity without distress or disturbance. This skill allows us to remain focused and effective, regardless of the external circumstances. Over time, this practice not only cultivates resilience, but also leads to a deeper sense of satisfaction and stability in life. How can you begin to apply these insights to your daily routine? Start by implementing a simple daily practice. Whenever you experience a strong emotion, take a moment to pause and reflect before reacting. Ask yourself what this emotion is telling you and how a rational response might look. This practice will help you build the habit of responding to life's moments with both emotional understanding and rational thought. This lesson on emotional intelligence offers a practical framework for integrating stoic principles into everyday life, enhancing our ability to deal with both our internal emotional landscape and the external challenges we face. By fostering a balanced approach to emotions and rationality, we equip ourselves with the tools necessary for a resilient and fulfilling life. Lesson 5. Transforming Adversity into Growth with Stoicism How do you respond when faced with a significant challenge? This lesson explores the Stoic practice of using adversity as a catalyst for personal growth and resilience. 
Stoics believe that challenges are not merely obstacles, but opportunities to practice virtues such as courage, patience, and wisdom. By redefining our approach to difficulties, we can not only overcome them, but also emerge stronger and more capable. Why is adversity viewed positively in Stoicism? According to Stoic philosophy, adversity tests our character and provides a chance to practice virtue. Every challenging situation is a training ground for the mind, helping us to develop the resilience and strength needed to face future challenges. This perspective encourages us to embrace difficulties, seeing them as integral to our personal development and philosophical practice. What steps can we take to harness adversity for growth? Begin by reframing how you perceive challenges. Instead of viewing them as threats, see them as opportunities for learning and self-improvement. When you encounter a difficult situation, ask yourself what virtues this challenge allows you to develop. This shift in perspective can dramatically alter your emotional response and decision-making process. How does embracing challenges enhance our resilience? By routinely facing difficulties with a growth mindset, we cultivate a robust mental framework that thrives on challenges. This not only prepares us to handle future adversity, but also diminishes fear and anxiety associated with unexpected problems. Over time, this proactive approach builds a deep-seated resilience that permeates all aspects of life. Can you think of a past adversity that you now see as beneficial? Reflecting on how previous challenges have contributed to your growth can reinforce the value of this stoic practice. These reflections help solidify the understanding that difficulties often provide the most valuable lessons, teaching us resilience, adaptability, and strength in ways that more favorable circumstances cannot. Why do Stoics focus on internal growth rather than external success when facing adversity? Stoicism teaches that true success is found in virtuous living and self-mastery, not in external achievements or possessions. By focusing on internal growth, we ensure that our happiness and peace of mind are not contingent on external factors, which are often beyond our control. This internal focus makes our well-being and personal development more sustainable and less susceptible to external disruptions. How does this approach to adversity affect long-term mental health? Adopting a stoic attitude towards challenges can significantly improve mental health by reducing stress and anxiety over uncontrollable events. It encourages a more balanced and calm response to life's difficulties, fostering a sense of control and peace within oneself. This not only helps in the moment, but also contributes to a healthier, more fulfilling life overall. How might you begin applying these insights immediately? Identify a current challenge in your life and consciously choose to view it as an opportunity for growth. Each day, reflect on what you have learned from this adversity and how it has helped you develop virtues. Practicing this daily will help you transform theoretical stoic resilience into practical, everyday strength. This lesson emphasizes the Stoic principle that adversity is not just to be endured, but embraced as a valuable teacher. By integrating these practices into our lives, we can not only withstand life's challenges, but also use them as stepping stones to a more resilient and virtuous self. Lesson 6. Cultivating Mindfulness and Reflection in Stoic Practice How can mindfulness transform our experience of everyday life? In this lesson, we explore how Stoicism advocates for the practice of mindfulness and reflection as essential tools for mental resilience. Mindfulness in Stoicism isn't just about being aware of the present moment. It's about using that awareness to live according to rational and virtuous principles. By cultivating mindfulness, we engage more deeply with our thoughts and actions, ensuring they align with our Stoic values. Why do Stoics emphasize the importance of mindfulness? Mindfulness helps us maintain a focus on what is truly important, our inner virtues and rational thinking, rather than being swayed by external circumstances or emotional upheavals. It allows us to observe our thoughts and emotions without immediately reacting to them, providing a space to choose how we respond. This practice leads to greater self-control and equanimity in the face of life's challenges. What steps can we begin to take to practice stoic mindfulness? Start by dedicating a few minutes each day to sit quietly and observe your thoughts. Notice when your mind wanders to the past or future and gently guide it back to the present. Focus on your breathing, 
or the sensations in your body to anchor yourself in the now. This simple practice can help you develop the habit of being present and mindful throughout your day. How does reflection fit into Stoic practice? Reflection in Stoicism is about more than reviewing what happened during the day. It involves evaluating our actions and thoughts to determine whether they are aligned with Stoic virtues like wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. By reflecting regularly, we can identify areas where we may have strayed from these principles and make adjustments for future behavior. Can you recall an instance where being mindful changed your reaction in a significant way? Reflecting on such instances can be incredibly powerful. It reinforces the benefits of mindfulness by showing how a pause and a moment of awareness can alter our usual pattern of reacting impulsively. These experiences highlight the transformative power of mindfulness in applying Stoic philosophy in practical situations. Why is continuous reflection crucial for Stoics? Continuous reflection helps to cement the lessons learned through mindfulness. It allows us to internalize Stoic teachings deeply, ensuring that our actions remain consistent with our philosophical commitments. This consistency is vital for personal development and helps in fostering a resilient and virtuous character. How does practicing mindfulness and reflection contribute to long-term resilience? Over time, these practices help us build a strong foundation of self-awareness and self-regulation. They enhance our ability to cope with stress, adapt to change, and respond to adversity with composure and rationality. This not only improves our immediate responses to situations, but also contributes to a more enduring sense of peace and contentment. How might we integrate mindfulness and reflection into our daily routines? Consider setting regular reminders to pause and practice mindfulness throughout the day, perhaps at the beginning, middle, and end of your day. End each day with a reflective journaling session assessing your actions against stoic virtues and planning how to improve tomorrow. Integrating these practices into your daily life will help solidify the principles of stoicism as lived experiences, enhancing both your mental resilience and overall well-being. This lesson underscores the value of mindfulness and reflection in the practice of stoicism, showing how these techniques can fundamentally alter our approach to life's challenges. By implementing these practices, we not only adhere more closely to Stoic virtues, but also cultivate a life characterized by rationality, peace, and resilience. Lesson 7. Managing Emotional Reactions with Stoic Techniques How can Stoic principles help us manage our emotional reactions more effectively? This lesson delves into the Stoic approach to emotional regulation, an essential aspect of building mental resilience. Stoics recognize that while emotions are natural, the key to tranquility lies in how we respond to these emotions. By applying Stoic techniques, we can learn to manage our feelings in a way that supports our well-being and aligns with our values. Why is managing emotional reactions important in Stoicism? In Stoicism, the goal is not to suppress emotions, but to understand and transform them through reason. Emotions are viewed as judgments about the world, and by changing these judgments we can change our emotional experiences. This process allows us to maintain composure and rationality in situations where we might otherwise react impulsively. What steps can Stoics take to manage emotional reactions? The first step is to practice self-awareness, identifying when an emotion is taking hold and tracing its origin. This awareness creates a moment of pause where one can choose to respond rather than react. Engaging in reflective practices such as journaling can help dissect these emotions and understand their triggers, enabling more thoughtful responses in the future. How does the Stoic practice of premeditation of evils help in emotional management? This technique involves visualizing potential challenges and rehearsing rational responses to them. By anticipating possible emotional disruptions and preparing for them, we can significantly reduce their impact on our psyche. This preparation helps us remain calm and collected, even in unexpected situations. Can you remember a time when a stoic approach prevented an emotional overreaction? Reflecting on such moments can reinforce the efficacy of stoic strategies in real-life scenarios. These reflections prove that with practice, it is possible to change our instinctual emotional responses into more considered and rational reactions 
that better serve our purposes and principles? Why is it crucial for Stoics to focus on their circle of influence when managing emotions? Focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, perceptions, and actions, and letting go of what we cannot influence, reduces feelings of helplessness and frustration. This focus is vital for maintaining emotional stability and fostering a sense of empowerment, which are central to Stoic resilience. How does improving our emotional regulation enhance our overall mental resilience? By becoming adept at managing our emotions, we build a robust defense against the stresses and strains of daily life. This resilience enables us to face life's challenges with confidence and equanimity, reducing anxiety and increasing our capacity for joy and satisfaction. How might you integrate stoic emotional regulation techniques into your daily life? Start by practicing mindfulness daily, focusing on observing your emotions without judgment. Use journaling to explore the causes and effects of your emotional responses. Regularly engage in the premeditation of potential challenges and their ideal stoic responses. By making these practices part of your routine, you will strengthen your emotional resilience and live more in harmony with stoic principles. This lesson on managing emotional reactions through stoic techniques offers practical guidance on transforming our responses to life's challenges. By incorporating these strategies into our daily practices, we can achieve a higher level of emotional intelligence and resilience, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and balanced life. Lesson 8. Embracing Stoic Detachment for Mental Equilibrium How can Stoic detachment contribute to our mental resilience and overall well-being? This lesson delves into the Stoic practice of detachment, an essential strategy for maintaining mental equilibrium and cultivating a serene life. Stoic detachment is not about indifference. Rather, it's about forming a rational relationship with our emotions and external circumstances, allowing us to experience life fully without being overwhelmed by it. Why is detachment valued so highly in Stoicism? Detachment allows us to separate our sense of self and happiness from the external fluctuations of life. By not tying our emotional well-being to the outcomes of external events, we reduce our vulnerability to disappointment and distress. This separation helps us maintain a consistent state of contentment, regardless of the ups and downs of our external experiences. What are the practical steps to practicing stoic detachment? Begin by observing how your emotions are often tied to external circumstances, such as praise, success, or material possessions. Challenge yourself to find internal satisfaction in your actions and choices, regardless of their outcomes. Practicing mindfulness can help you become more aware of the present moment, reducing the impulse to overly invest in the future or past. How does stoic detachment enhance decision-making? When we detach from the emotional weight of potential outcomes, our decisions become more rational and less biased by fear or desire. This clarity leads to better choices because our actions are guided by reason and aligned with our core values, rather than by fleeting emotions or external pressures. Can you recall an instance where practicing detachment led to better outcomes? Reflecting on such instances can reinforce the effectiveness of stoic detachment. It shows how removing emotional turbulence from decision-making processes can lead to choices that are more thoughtful, strategic, and ultimately, more satisfying. Why must Stoics continually practice detachment? Like any skill, detachment requires ongoing practice to master. Regular reflection on our attachments and the unnecessary distress they cause can motivate us to maintain our practice. Over time, this habit strengthens our mental resilience, enabling us to face life's challenges with a calm and balanced perspective. How does detachment contribute to long-term resilience and happiness? Detachment helps us build a buffer against the instability of life. By not depending on external conditions for our happiness, we develop a stable and enduring sense of well-being that is less susceptible to life's inherent unpredictability. This stability is a cornerstone of stoic resilience, fostering a life characterized by tranquility and rational contentment. How might you begin to integrate stoic detachment into your daily life? Start by identifying areas where your emotions are heavily tied to external outcomes. Practice mindfulness to enhance your awareness of these attachments. 
gradually work to shift your focus from external validation to internal peace and self-approval. Engage in regular self-reflection to monitor your progress and refine your practice. These steps will help you cultivate a detached yet engaged approach to life, enhancing both your mental resilience and overall happiness. This lesson on stoic detachment provides essential techniques for maintaining mental balance and resilience in the face of life's challenges. By adopting a detached yet engaged approach, we protect our inner peace from the chaos of the external world, leading to a more fulfilling and tranquil life. Lesson 9. Embracing Amor Fati, Loving One's Fate. What does it mean to truly embrace every aspect of life, including adversity? In this lesson, we explore the Stoic concept of Amor Fati, which translates to love of one's fate. This principle is not about passive acceptance, but an active and enthusiastic embrace of everything that happens to us, viewing each event as an opportunity for personal growth and self-improvement. Why is Amor Fati important in Stoicism? Amor Fati goes beyond mere resilience or coping. It's about finding joy and purpose in all circumstances, good or bad. By loving our fate, we align ourselves with the natural order of the universe, accepting that everything happens for a reason. This alignment eliminates resistance to life's inevitabilities, thus fostering a profound peace of mind. How can we start practicing Amor Fati in our daily lives? Begin by re-evaluating your responses to adverse situations. Instead of reacting with frustration or disappointment, Try to see each challenge as a necessary part of your life's narrative, meant to strengthen and teach you. This shift in perspective can transform your experience of life's trials, turning them into valuable lessons rather than unwanted obstacles. What are the practical benefits of adopting Amor Fati? When we love our fate, we reduce stress and anxiety by eliminating resistance to the unavoidable. This acceptance leads to a greater sense of serenity and contentment, Furthermore, embracing our experiences without judgment enhances our openness to new possibilities and opportunities for personal growth. Can you think of an example from your life where accepting or even loving a challenging situation brought unexpected benefits? Reflecting on such experiences can highlight the transformative power of Amor Fati. It shows how changing our attitude towards fate can change the outcomes of our lives, leading to richer experiences and deeper wisdom. Why is it challenging to practice Amor Fati? Loving one's fate is difficult because it contradicts our natural instincts to avoid pain and seek pleasure. It requires a radical shift in mindset, from viewing certain experiences as inherently negative to seeing them as essential parts of our journey. Regular meditation and reflection on the impermanence and necessity of all life events can facilitate this shift. How does Amor Fati contribute to long-term mental resilience? By consistently practicing Amor Fati, we build a mental framework that withstands life's fluctuations. This resilience is rooted in the understanding that there is value in every situation and that enduring hardship often leads to greater personal strength and fulfillment. How might you begin to integrate Amor Fati into your daily routine? Identify daily occurrences, especially challenging ones, and consciously attempt to welcome them with open arms. Use journaling to document your experiences and reflections on trying to live according to Amor Fati. Over time, these practices will help you develop a more accepting and joyful approach to life, deeply rooted in Stoic wisdom. This lesson on Amor Fati provides a pathway to embracing life fully, not just by surviving challenges, but by thriving through them. By integrating this Stoic principle into our lives, we transform our relationship with fate leading to a more joyful and resilient existence. Lesson 10. Practicing Stoic Indifference for Inner Tranquility How can Stoic indifference help us achieve a state of inner tranquility and enhance our mental resilience? This lesson explores the concept of Stoic indifference, a key practice that involves distinguishing between what truly matters and what does not. Unlike common perceptions, Stoic indifference isn't about not caring. Instead, it's about focusing our emotional energy wisely on aspects of life that we can control and that contribute to our virtue and well-being. Why is Stoic indifference important in the practice of Stoicism? Indifference, in the Stoic sense, is about maintaining a balanced emotional state regardless of external circumstances. 
It allows us to remain centered and composed even in the face of life's inevitable ups and downs. This detachment from the volatility of external events helps prevent unnecessary suffering caused by attaching too much importance to things outside our control. What steps can we take to cultivate stoic indifference in our daily lives? Begin by identifying areas where you may be investing too much emotional energy in things beyond your control, such as the behavior of others or societal expectations. Practice redirecting your focus towards your own actions and reactions, which you can control. This shift not only conserves your emotional energy, but also empowers you to make meaningful changes in your life. How does practicing indifference enhance decision-making? With stoic indifference, decisions are made based on reason and virtue rather than emotional impulses. This leads to more thoughtful and effective choices because our mental clarity isn't clouded by unnecessary concerns or desires. Each decision becomes an opportunity to practice virtues such as wisdom and temperance. Can you think of a situation where practicing indifference would have changed the outcome? Reflecting on past experiences where emotional reactions led to poor decisions can illustrate the benefits of stoic indifference. These reflections help us understand the practical applications of this principle and motivate us to adopt a more detached perspective in future situations. Why is it challenging to practice stoic indifference? The challenge lies in our natural tendency to react emotionally to external stimuli. Overcoming this instinct requires persistent practice and mindfulness. It involves retraining our minds to recognize the impermanence of external conditions and the limited impact they have on our true well-being. How does stoic indifference contribute to long-term mental health and resilience? By maintaining emotional equilibrium through the highs and lows of life, we develop a robust mental fortitude that shields us from the turmoil of external circumstances. This stability is crucial for long-term mental health, as it reduces stress and anxiety and promotes a sustained sense of peace. How might you begin to integrate stoic indifference into your daily routine? Start by setting daily reminders to assess where your emotional energy is going. Each time you find yourself becoming overly concerned with externalities, take a moment to refocus on your internal virtues and goals. Practicing this consistently will help you cultivate a stoic indifference that enhances both your mental resilience and your overall quality of life. Remember that the journey towards mastering Stoic principles is ongoing. Each day presents new opportunities to practice these teachings, from managing our perceptions and emotions to embracing our fate and practicing indifference. By continuing to apply these principles, you will strengthen your mental resilience and navigate life's challenges with greater ease and tranquility. This lesson on Stoic indifference encapsulates the essence of Stoic mental training. Focusing on what truly matters, maintaining emotional balance and cultivating a life of virtue and peace. By integrating these practices, we not only enhance our ability to cope with external pressures, but also elevate our overall life satisfaction.